Mrs. Johnston here, and we are going to start the last lesson in Unit 5 on Plants. Our lesson is from Farm to Market. We are going to discuss what we have already learned. Why do farmers grow crops? Did you say some of these responses? Farmers grow crops to feed their families and other families. They grow crops to sell to the grocery store. Can you name some of the crops grown on farms? Did you remember corn, wheat, carrots, potatoes are just some of the crops that are grown on farms? Name some types of food that you eat that are crops. Did some of you say green beans, peas, wheat, potatoes? Those are all foods that you eat that are started out as crops. Can someone tell me the steps that a farmer takes to grow crops starting with planting the seeds. Let's see if your response was the same as Mrs. Johnston's. The farmer starts out with seeds. He plants them in the field. Then he makes sure that they are free of pests, Make sure that they have water. He picks the weeds. Then during the harvest time, he harvests the crops. He picks them when they are at their ripe peak. And then the farmer can keep them in his own home to eat, or he might sell them to a grocery store. Listen carefully to the next read aloud to learn more about how farm crops become food for people. Long ago, most people in the United States lived and worked on small farms. Back then, farm families got all the food they needed from the crops and livestock they raised right there on their own farms. Livestock is another word for farm animals. They not only ate their own vegetables, fruits, and meats, they also made their own bread, butter, and cheese using products from the farm. Here on my farm, we still make a lot of things that most people buy at the supermarket or other stores. For instance, instead of eating everything as soon as we harvest it, we pack some of our produce in glass jars. This is called canning. We make our own canned beans, beets, and pears. Unlike fresh fruits and vegetables, even if you keep them in a refrigerator, 
Canned food will not spoil. Canned food will not rot or go bad as quickly. It will remain edible for months and even years. Long, long ago, farm families made their own butter in a butter churn. We still have a butter churn on our farm, but it is just for decoration. This is the butter churn that he is talking about. We don't use it anymore, but back then, someone would pour some milk into the churn and swish it up and down and all around with a stick. It took a while, and it was hard work, but eventually the milk got churned and whipped so much that it thickened and turned into butter. Sometimes, just for fun, we still make our own ice cream using a machine like a butter churn. We use fresh milk from the cows and churn it in a special ice cream machine. It takes a while to make, but it sure tastes good. But most farmers, including me, do not grow or make everything they need for their families on their farms. I do not grow coconuts, mangoes, or pineapples, but I like to eat them. Nor do I raise turkeys, but I eat one every Thanksgiving. So where do I get all these things that I use but do not grow or make on the farm? I buy them just like everyone else. I take my extra produce to sell at the farmer's market once or twice a week. That is where I earn some of my money. Earn means to get something by working for it. Today, I will take beans, tomatoes, corn, and eggs. Come along. Let's see how business is at the market today. Goodness, there are a lot of people here today. I just backed my pickup truck under the tent and opened up the tailgate. And before I knew it, I had a line of people waiting to buy my fresh produce. Do you remember what produce is? Did you say produce is the crops that are ready to be sold or eaten? After I've sold all my goods, I think I will wander around and see what the other farmers have to offer. There's Barry the beekeeper over there. He has jars of dark, rich honey made by his very own bees. I bet he will trade me a big jar of honey for two or three dozen eggs. Yum! I see Mary the flower lady too. She brought zinnias, daisies, and sunflowers from her flower farm. I'll buy a bouquet for Mrs. McDonald before I go to the supermarket for some other things I need. Look at all the food in this supermarket. There are so many choices. I can't even begin to count all the different types of breakfast cereals or canned fruits and vegetables. They also sell beef, chicken, pork, milk, eggs, juice, yogurt, noodles, cheese, crackers, and many other things. Whenever I go grocery shopping, I can't help but think about the fact that nearly everything here got its start on a farm. All grocery stores have a canned food aisle. These cans come from a canning factories where farm produce is packed into metal cans or glass jars and labeled so you can tell what is inside. This man is loading boxes of canned goods onto a truck.
A few months ago, the food in these cans was growing on a plant somewhere in a farmer's field. Now it is in a can on its way to the grocery store. There is really no telling where it will end up now. For all you know, it could wind up in your belly. Here is another place where farm produce is processed. Processed means prepared for use in other foods. Have you ever seen so many apples? I work hard just to grow a few dozen apples to take to market. I can't imagine trying to grow so many of them, but some farmers do. These apples were harvested a few days ago, but the farmer had to wait for a truck driver to come and pick them up and drive them to the processing plant to be washed, sorted, processed, packaged, and then trucked off to the grocery store. Some of these apples will probably be sold at the grocery store in the produce section so that you can munch on one. Can you think of other ways that apples are prepared and eaten? Did you say apple butter or apple pie? Those are just a couple of the ways that apples are prepared and eaten. Here are just a few foods made from apples. How many have you tasted and eaten? Did you get them at the farm or the market? So we've got apple sauce, apple rings, apple butter or jelly, a fresh apple, apple slices, apple pie, apple cider. Where do many of the items that you buy in the grocery store come from? Did you say farms? If you did, great job listening to the details. How do canned foods get from the canning factory to the store? Did you remember by truck? What is another word for processed? Did you respond with prepared? What are some of the ways that produce from farms can be saved to be eaten later? Did you remember that produce can be saved if it is refrigerated or canned? Why do farmers sometimes need to go to the grocery store? Did you remember that they don't grow everything that they need or want, so they have to go to the grocery store. How do farmers earn money? Did you say maybe that farmers earn money by selling products from their farm? such as produce, milk, and sheep's wool? Which happens first? Crops such as animals are taken to the canning factory or they are harvested. Which one happens first? Did you respond with crops are harvested? I hope you enjoyed our unit on farms and learning 
about all of the different farms and our very last lesson of learning from farm to market.